Nova Scotia holds a special place in my heart as it was my first time on the east coast of Canada and it was the first trip that Matt and I took together back in 2016. So we spent a week driving around the province and during that time really came to love Nova Scotia as a hidden gem of Canada. So in partnership with Tours of Nova Scotia, I put together a short list of my favorite things to do in this amazing province. This would be especially good if you are a Canadian looking for some local travel inspiration this year. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my next videos. Take a harbor hopper tour in Halifax. This is a perfect place to start during a trip to Halifax. Riding on a huge amphibious vehicle so you can tour both the streets and the water. This is a great way to quickly familiarize yourself with the city, see it from many different angles, and learn about its history from your excellent tour guide. It's also just a unique opportunity to ride in these super cool vehicles. Visit the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic. Learn about Nova Scotia's deep history with the Atlantic Ocean through many different exhibits. Halifax was the closest major port to where the Titanic sank. So here you can learn about how Canadians helped in the recovery effort and see genuine pieces of the wreckage up close. You can also learn about the Halifax explosion, which at the time it happened was the largest human-made explosion of all time. Check out the Halifax Seaport Farmer's Market. At over 270 years old, this is the oldest continuously operating farmer's market in North America. The market is massive with a wide variety of different vendors. There's something here for everybody. There's fresh food, baked goods, craft spirits, jewelry, and other artisanal goods. I loved exploring all the booths, seeing the different vendors, and you could easily spend several hours here. Ocean kayak on the East Coast. We had an amazing time kayaking around the coast, weaving through the small islands and even taking a break on one of those islands all to ourselves. If you're lucky, you might even spot an eagle up above or some seals swimming by. Just don't fall in because uh, the water is probably pretty cold. <laughs> the Canadian Museum of Immigration at Pier 21. Nova Scotia has played a significant role in Canada's history as being a major port of entry for immigration. Pier 21 is now a national historic site as it was the gateway for over 1 million immigrants arriving into Canada from 1928 to 1971. The museum is really well done and it's very interesting to learn about the different experiences these early travelers had on their journeys and arrival into Canada. Walk the picturesque town of Lunenburg. Old Town Lunenburg is one of only two urban communities in North America that are a UNESCO heritage site. Many colonial buildings from the 18th and 19th century are still standing. My favorite thing was just walking the streets and seeing all the colorful buildings and learning about the history. It's such a pretty town full of East Coast charm. Stop by the famous lighthouse at Peggy's Cove. This small fishing community, along with its famous lighthouse, perched on the rocks of the Atlantic, is one of the most photographed locations in Canada. The lighthouse is over 100 years old and still functions to this day. It's only about an hour's drive from Halifax, so there's no reason not to go. Explore the wilderness of Kejimakuji National Park. Keji is the perfect place for the outdoor lover. Camp, hike, bike, or paddle through the beautiful surroundings of nature. It would also be a great place for bird watching or astrophotography as it is a dark sky preserve. Unfortunately, we only had a short period of time to explore just a small portion of this around 400 square kilometer national park, but there's always time to go back. Try the local drinks. You might not know this, but Nova Scotia produces some great local wines, but that's not all they have. The province also produces lots of amazing beer, cider, and spirits. We did our best to try and sample as much of these local drinks as we can during our short time in the province, and we can definitely say we enjoyed them all. Stay and surf at White Point. White Point Beach Resort was one of our favorite places that we stayed in Nova Scotia. It's such a pretty location being right on the Atlantic shore, and it's also one of the few locations in Canada that you can surf. Now, there weren't really any big waves on the day that I was out in the water, but they do get proper waves, and it's one of the more popular surfing spots in the region. Now these next two are kind of bonuses as we didn't manage to visit these two places the first time we went to Nova Scotia, but they're definitely on our bucket list for when we return. 
drive or hike the Cabot Trail. I really wish that we had time to do the Cabot Trail when we were in Nova Scotia, but it's enough of a reason to go back. The trail is 298 kilometers of roadway that encircles the island of Cape Breton. Considered by many to be one of the most scenic drives in the world, you'll want to spend the better part of a week exploring the Cabot Trail. There's so many things to do, including many hikes in the Cape Breton Highlands National Park, with trails ranging from easy strolls to challenging climbs. I'd also love to go during the fall season just to see all the amazing colors. The Bay of Fundy, home to the highest tides on earth. In about six hours, the ocean can rise or fall by up to 50 feet, creating dramatic changes in the landscape. It also happens to be a treasure trove for marine life and ancient fossils. You can walk around the ocean floor, watch for whales, dig for dinosaur bones, or for maximum adrenaline, hop on a guided boat tour and ride the powerful waves of the tidal bore. So thank you so much for watching and I hope this has inspired you to start planning your own Nova Scotia trip. I'm gonna leave a bunch of resources and links in the description so you can find out more. Till then, bye.